but um, I am so grateful to be a part of what you've done. Um, the Promote Your Passion event is absolutely amazing. You guys all know that, but I've seen a lot of events. I participated in a lot of events. But what happens is that it's really difficult to find that fine line that goes between like fun and uplifting and authentic and then the professional that tends to be a bit too square and a bit too boring, right? So somehow Karen, what she does and what she puts together is she literally creates an event that walks that fine line that includes those aspects. So I was blown away and mesmerized and so grateful to be part of that experience. About my life in a nutshell, I grew up in communist Hungary behind the Iron Curtain. I was essentially born into a prison and grew up with nothing but love. And my parents' encouragement to dream big and do whatever it is that I wanted to do, which was tremendous, except I didn't know how to do that. And when you are born in a communist country, you always have to fit in. I mean, you're put into these teeny tiny little boxes and you have to fit in and you have to blend in. And everything is just great. And you gotta be great to, to stay safe, really. And all the color for me just came from, you know, story books and, and children's stories that my parents told me. But I had this dream that there's something more to life than being gray in a teeny tiny little box. Well, my special moment came December 9th, 1980, the day after John Lennon was assassinated. And I actually went home from school, from a bigger box to a smaller box of our apartment. And once I was done with my homework, I went to listen to the radio. And I was turning the knob, trying to find something other than government propaganda or Russian folk songs, which is what we usually got. And all of a sudden, accidentally, I tuned into Voice of America, which was an illegal station. And they were playing a song that just hit me so hard. It's still, when I think about it, it just makes me cry, because the piano started, and it was the most amazing, blissful thing that, that talked about a world beyond boundaries. And I didn't even know that, but just felt it from the music. So when this man started singing, I thought, oh my God, he's singing to me. So I ran to the shelf, grabbed the dictionary, and literally started deciphering the words, trying to figure out what is he saying? What is he singing about? And that song was Imagine. And all of a sudden, well, I didn't expect it, but my life purpose just hit me like this. And I thought, this is the kind of world I want to live in. As a matter of fact, this is the kind of world I'm committed to creating. So I came here at age 20 with $20 in my pocket as a maid. I literally scrubbed my way up by cleaning toilets and bathtubs, which gives you a grand dose of humility, which is actually wonderful. And I put myself through school. I went to UCLA. I got my degree in business. Then I had a career in the entertainment industry and marketing, but I wanted to make that direct impact and I wanted to create that feeling for people so they can be their fully expressed self. So this is what I do. I went back to business school at UCLA, created my own company, and I help people to create lives that are completely free and beyond boundaries and make a difference for others by being their fully expressed self. And one of my companies is called Bliss Biz because it's bringing the bliss and the business together. And I truly believe that that's when we can make the biggest impact in the world. Thank you so much. <laughs>